Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Double RPG here, and I'm here to present to you a brand new update video as to a a new thing that's you know that has brought been brought up in the news in gaming that has really, really, really perturbed me and perturbed a lot of people too. So uh, I'm gonna deliver you my own thoughts right now. Now, back a couple days ago, I just recently found out about this new bill that's being proposed by the Senate called S.978. Uh, now, basically what this bill does is that any copyrighted material that gets placed on video hosting sites like YouTube, Blip, or whatever, ten times can end up going to uh, prison for up to five years and, can be and people can be stuck with hefty fines like up to $2,500 or so. Uh, I could be mistaken on the money part, but that's what I know about that. But that's in relation to... Uh, to mute to like uh, movies or TV shows or like people who do karaoke videos of that matter and uh, now as much as you know as much as I find find it ridiculous for like the karaoke videos and such I actually uh, do find it to be acceptable for like movies and TV shows because people who place you know footage from movies or TV shows on the internet when when, when they don't do any commentary and that kind of stuff that means that they're uh, that they're completely violating, you know, a company's copyrights on the property when they don't even have the right to post that kind of stuff online. I mean, they're not going to be making, a, you know, uh, some money off of it. But uh, what really surprised me in terms of this bill is not only those three type of things are getting, you know, placed onto this bill, but people who do uh, Let's Plays of, or live streams that have gameplay footage are also bound to this bill as well. And I find this bill to be very, very ridiculous because it completely violates the Fair Use Act that everybody has got themselves, you know, have got themselves the privilege towards because they are reviewing and talking about those games for a purpose as well as, you know, doing stuff that's for charity purposes. It's just now they're completely, you know, it just seems that the Senate has proposed a bill that it's going to completely put us back in the dark ages of video gaming where, you know, everybody's freedom on the internet is going to be taken away. Now, I'm, like I said, I'm really, really shocked by this because it's going to put a huge damper on a lot of things. And, uh, for one, it's going to make, you know, gaming, you know, gaming sites like, uh, Blistered Thumbs and Machinima, they're going to have to force to shut down. And it's also going to have to force organizations like the Game Station to shut down too. And it's just, it's going to put a damper on everybody who, you know, wanted to start their career in gaming. I mean, even me. And uh, I'm not sure for other people like Screw Attack or, you know, other sites like, uh, uh, like Epic Battle Axe. I mean, I think they could be entitled to this too, but I could be mistaken. But it's going to put lots of companies like that, it's going to you know, it's going to put a huge damper on something that they started. It's going to make them have to shut down. And it I definitely see this as a bad sign and uh I don't think it's something that's going to pass anytime soon because it's you know, it's it completely deviates or completely violates the you know, the fair use act like I stated. And uh and I know that some people who do live streams uh usually do stuff like that for like charity purposes, kind of like the Mario Marathon. I don't want it to, be, you know, you know, uh, I don't want, you know, live streaming or people do who do LPs to be gone because, I mean, or to be taken, or their rights to do stuff like this to be taken away from them because that's how they made, how they made themselves become famous in the first place. I mean, if this were to pass, you would see people like me, people like Chugga Conroy, people like Nintendo Capri Sun, people like Josh Jepsen, people like Proton John SA, and people like... Oh, I don't know who else does LPs, but uh, or people who do who do reviews, that they, they they're gonna be complete their their rights to do you know stuff like this is gonna be completely terminated, and you'll never hear from us again. It's completely ridiculous. So um, but yeah, uh, that's what I'm pessimistic about. But what I'm optimistic about is that um, that I don't think that this bill is going to get passed because, like I said, it completely violates the the fair use rights or the fair use act. And um, and if the uh, the the Supreme Court uh, putting the uh, putting the bill that was proposed in you know California about uh, you know the government regulating what can and cannot go into video games, uh, and if if the outcome of what happened in that uh, in that uh, lawsuit battle or uh, Supreme Court case was any indication that that uh, gaming is not to blame, but uh, for parents who you know, don't even like their kids playing the, you know, playing bad video games and such, who, 
you know, should, you know, be parents and, you know, regulate the stuff themselves. If that's any indication that we won as of, uh, as of last month, then this should be an indi indication that we're going to win again, because I don't think this bill is going to pass anytime soon. And if it does, then lots of places and a lot of us are going to have to say bye-bye to something that we've liked and something that we craved in the beginning. So I find it to be completely an utter BS at the moment. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, what you can do to prevent this is that I'm going to uh, provide a link in the description, and I know people like... Uh, like uh, Review Tech USA and DSP Gaming already covered stuff like this, so uh, I'm gonna. And uh, they post a link in the description by, uh, I think, a group called Demand Progress or something like that. That uh, that uh, made that you are given the privilege to, uh, you know, write this letter or, or you know, put this uh, uh, thing on the internet, like a, a comment and your information, saying how much you dislike this new bill that's being proposed and urge them to. Uh, to uh, rethink what they're doing because it could hurt, you know, you know, it could hurt internet freedom, and it and it definitely does because it this whole bill is just completely ludicrous. It it puts internet freedom at really 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 big risk. But uh, anyway, that's all I have to update on. So uh, you need uh, if you are in def definite uh, definite support of you know getting this. Uh, bill uh reversed or you know getting it uh you know uh reconsidered by the u.s senate or by congress or whatever be sure you uh follow the link in the description and just do exactly what i say and uh hopefully the word can get out that to them that what they're doing is they're not uh it, it, it's completely unconstitutional anyway that's all i have to update on at this point so uh, so i guess i'll see you tomorrow with the uh, next episodes of the LP for uh, Tales of Symphonia and Tales of Fantasia. But anyway, I hope you all have had a, have had a good weekend and are looking forward to the 4th of July in the United States. But for everybody else, I'll talk to you later. So, peace gamers. <laughs>